is a single piece of evidence. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzles for all they're worth. That's where you come in. Navigating the maze is normally no easy task. Rizzo's has no interest in giving their property, however old, away for free. Hi. Professional trailblazer here? We'll be fine. I'm glad you're feeling confident, but this maze is deadly by design. Mm -hmm. And if that weren't enough, Zimmerman and Navare don't want anyone sneaking away with their prize. The place is mined and <laughs> rife with murderous mechanicals. Okay. Two buffoons, but persistent buffoons. There's that woman from Glacial Age who has perhaps never had an original idea in her life and hopes Blarky. to pass the original off as her own. Then there's Navare, who is strange. I suggested I give her the original after my lawsuit if we work together, but she wouldn't hear of it. It must be hers alone, it seems. Technically, I sue not on behalf of Forest Mills, but for my own benefit. In arbitration, it might be difficult to argue that this contest is designed to slight Forest Mills. However, as it so happens, if my lawsuit takes a chunk out of their savings, then I can collect while also damaging their capital. It's a mutual mm -hmm. win. I make millions, Rizzo's falls further from the board's good graces, and Forest Mills products look that much more valuable compared to Rizzo's trash. I don't know if you know this, but Rizzo's is on the outs. They're losing power and losing money. This was no doubt a desperate bid to regain some lost clout. That, or their marketing team, is particularly spiteful. You know the saying, I'm sure. Why work for a promotion when sabotage takes half the time and a quarter of the effort? <laughs> Excellent! I look forward to finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well. original. Welcome to the Rizzo's Purpleberry Puzzle Hedges, trademark. Grown on top of Industrial Slush Pit 27C, these unusually tall purpleberry trees have grown lush, luxuriant foliage and are literally bursting with extra specially piquant purpleberries. As you wander through our winding maze, Feel free to try a fresh purple berry right from a branch. Maybe you'll discover our next new flavor. Limit one berry per customer. Do not try any purple berries outside of the puzzle hedges. <laughs> Some visitors have speculated as to the presence of a treasure at the end of the maze. While Rizzo's has placed nothing like this in the puzzle hedges, we still encourage you to explore to your heart's content. Should you experience dizziness, faintness, or simply get lost among the hedgerows, <laughs> <during your laughs> Shelter in place and rescue will arrive within 72 hours, guaranteed. Accepting unplanned shutdowns at any other time seems inconvenient. <laughs> okay, that would be shit. I'm not gonna like you, this is a hedge maze. It's okay. Oh, I must not draw the taste. Well, bye. I don't want to massacre. I don't want to massacre. Daj będę zaraz berby.
what's the hurry, right? Taka zasada z labryntów, że, że idziesz tylko prawo, a pan dojdzie do celu. Może przetestujemy teraz. My word, stranger, you sure gave me a fright. I thought you were one of those strange sorts heaving all over the place. Maybe they got a bad batch of purpleberry wine. Since you don't seem to be laughing maniacally or projectile vomiting, think you could do me a favor? No, I'm not. trying to come up with a new name for a glacial age product, but the creative side of things just isn't my area of expertise. Do you happen to have any ideas? Hey, just because I'm in a hedge maze doesn't mean I'm not on work time. So what do you think about helping me out? Great! Don't worry too much about getting it wrong. If the high rungers hate your idea, I can always just blame it on an intern. So, the company I'm with is Glacial Age. Our products usually have a finer ring to them, and the product I'm trying to name is a vodka. Take your shot. Tęczowa lodów... lodowcówka, niestabilna, czysta, pokładowcowa, destylowana drążeniem. Dobre piwo. <laughs> wow, that sounds great. I'm sure my bosses will love it. And don't worry, I'll absolutely credit you in one of the product footnotes. Oh, nothing all that fantastical. Just a new product idea Glacial Age R&D is working on. Uh, an idea that has nothing to do with why I'm in the puzzle hedges. <laughs> But as it so happens, I'm a little on the lost side, so thinking about it helps keep the panic at bay. If you find a map or a stepladder or something, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm beginning to fear coming here wasn't worth the trouble. Close. I want what's in the center. You've heard of the competition, right? Whoever gets to the center gets a rare Rizzo's product and the chance to meet Halcyon Helen. 
My eyes on the rare Rizzo's product, namely the Spectrum Original, the first product Rizzo's ever made. I intend to reverse engineer it and make it Glacial Age's own. <laughs> like anyone who drinks Glacial Age is gonna know the difference. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is dandy. I was not expecting any feedback from field testing before I'd even created the product. I'll be sure to jot that down for future reference. All I need for my prototype is the original itself. Then I can start production. Zrozumiem dlaczego proszę pan z Reckon not. I've seen a couple of folks as out of place as well me. One's a lawyer. You can tell by the smell of cigarettes, booze and tears. <laughs> Must sense there's a lot to be found with <laughs> the original. Of alcohol you was. I don't want to get it. Also ran into a woman with looks like the others are getting a little more aggressive. I know it's asking a lot, but maybe you could find it for me instead. Help out a struggling R&D developer? Dishonest. I've only ever heard that word used in that arbitration serial lawful label. <laughs> Rizzo steal, Spacer's choice steals, Auntie Cleo steals. And so, if Rizzo's decides to release one of their original products for anyone to take, then it's Glacial Age's right to swoop in and be proactive. It's these damn puzzle hedges. I don't know what I look like, but I reckon it ain't like a scrapper. That place is fit to burst with mines and killer machines. No doubt the work of my rivals. Better no one can get to the original if they can't have it. My oh my, wouldn't it be wonderful if a freelancer could help rescue me from my horrible plight? Hey, when a body hasn't contributed to her R&D team in what feels like months, she starts to pursue any leads that come her way. I tested into this job, same as anyone else, but there was a malfunction with the testing equipment during my final assessment. Makes me think that maybe I wasn't cut out for this. No matter what the scores say, it ain't easy for me to make things. Only had a few successes, like little sisties, pustules that pop, or my no must no fuss biodegradable bullets. Biodegradable bullets. What? You know about those? I mean, that's great. I always figured my products were niche, that is unpopular, unknown and unprofitable. Nice to hear it ain't always so. You forgot? I'm here to make a new product for Glacial Age R&D. My Okay, thank you okay. So this this way. Coś mi to śmierdzi. Nie, nie idziemy tą tą drogą. Czy nie mogę biec? Odciążone? To bardzo? Ale coś pocnęło? Z tymi robotami. I w sumie źle by zaułek. To tak muszę iść chyba tą stroną, znaczy tą drogą. I swój. Znaczy, jakiej mina to spowodowała? Dziękuję z bunkańca. Skarb jest blisko, może go czuję. 
czułbym, gdybym miał jeszcze zmysł smaku z zapachu cały dzień i <śmiech> jak kody, choć początkowo wcinałem i z przyjemnością teraz <śmiech> ledwie różę przyszczęką. Bo na sześcioro weszliśmy do labiryntu w poszukiwaniu jego tajemnicy, niby w ramach zabawy. A każdy idę zawiedział, że tylko pretekst. Dzięki Carterowi zgubiliśmy się po kilku godzinach. Jest jedni i inni zaczęli rzucać, e, rzucać się sobie do gardy, wziąłem sprawę swoje ręce. Teraz jest mniej ludzi do podziału nagrody. Zanim go zastrzeliłem, Carter proponował podzielić się z Carver, facet musiał być zdesperowany. Skąd by się go został nabrać drugi raz? W każdym razie wiedziałem, wracam do poszukiwań, znajdę ten skarb, chociażbym miał mnie to zabić. Jak powiedział, tak zrobił. Dobra, idziemy w prawo. Stawaj nioka. Czekaj, muszę to. Chcę coś rozmontować. Q, A, 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 Czy by to było tak blisko już tutaj? Niemożliwe. Nie da przejść tutaj się też nie da przejść tutaj tutaj da się przejść Analysis ground appears to be scattered with purpleberry seedlings. This particular strain is of a variety proprietary to Rissos and should not be in common use. Zauważ, do połowy zakopaną ziemię szkolną, bo tak zawierającą część sezonu. Pojebaj, że znajdujesz na spodzie takie tu włas własność Cartera Reynoldsa, botanika. Hmm. Nie ma butelki. Teraz do dzisiaj też sobie samych środków wziąłem. Botanik to podwinął. Czekaj, czekaj, 
gdzie ciekawe czy Zenda jest o, to jakiś tam kurde, jakby to się dało wejść jeszcze ale się nie dało zobaczę może coś ciekawego tu spotkam jeszcze przy okazji też nie, to już jest końcówka kurde, wydawa się ten, ten labirynt trochę większy z zewnątrz This way. Yep. If we do that on the other side, we'll be able to get Miny jak kurde napierdają mnie. Greetings. Have you brought your auto mechanical to the service technician lately? I'll bet. Judging by this exchange, I presume you are not the person I was waiting here to meet. You're not covered in a layer of dirt, fertilizer, and self-loathing. Listen, I don't know you. So I'd rather keep my admissions to a minimum without the presence of legal counsel. I was waiting for someone to give me information about these hedges. That's as much as you need to know. Why do people who are hiding something always have so much to say about it? I take offense to that. I think. Shh, not so loud. Ah, damn it. I guess you already know. I am indeed looking for the prize. You've caught me. What interest have I in an unveiling? I don't watch much in the way of serials, and crowds only make it easier for people to get behind you. I'm after the Spectrum original itself. And not to drink. <laughs> have you noticed that there's no trace of anything the corporations have done in the past? In fact, this contest for the original is the only time I've ever seen a corp refer to a prototype product not currently on the market. And why isn't it on the market? Indeed. And it's happened before. Seems the corp are trying to hide their past failings. Anyhow, it's valuable to me to collect that which might inform future generations. Did you now? And how do you know the others aren't secretly Rizzo's agents will stab you in the back and take the bottle the moment you turn away. Give me the original and your actions will actually matter. I... No. There's a bottom feeder who sees an easy payday connected to it, but he's hardly worth considering. I also briefly engaged with an optimistic young woman intending to use the original as a springboard for upward mobility. Better than letting it rot, but still not ideal. Think fast. Never know when someone will come out of a bush Bolter pistol at the ready. Keep your voice down. Never know. I'm afraid I haven't made my. Think fast. Nobody has answers. Think of me as an archivist. I collect that which the corporations have dismissed as failures and try to sweep under the rug. Take the recalled Spacer's Choice Powerhead. It was a shotgun shell on a stick, <laughs> apparently supposed to be used like a spear. Had a tendency to ream the user's torso with buckshot. <laughs> The corps don't want the common man to know about screw-ups like that. Which is why I keep my actions decidedly in the shadows. I did. Someone I paid to inform on the orchards after I heard murmurs of a prize here. For security reasons, I never learned much about my contacts. All I knew about this one was that they were a groundskeeper. But the one here is either senseless or acting very well. Presumably, whoever I was in contact with was lying. Or they were found out and hurled off the side of Eridanos. It's a risk of the business. 
Better than a burning barrel filled with Spectrum original bottles, I suppose. Follow your lead. Keep an eye out for fakes. Kurde, dobra mnie to ten... Przez może i dupsko. O, a fontana. To jest zaraz do wejścia, spoko. Dobra, chcę tego do botanika. Tak, który siedzi... Gdzie on siedział? Tutaj chyba siedział. Nie, to był ten... To była ta konsola zepsuta. To jest. Hello again, youngster! You're certainly doing a lot of running to and fro. Don't overexert yourself. The wasp ketos can smell weakness. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. Yep, I get you. Oh, there that damn thing is. Thank you. I guess this proves it's wise to label your things. Otherwise, some fool might use them as prizes in an ill-advised scavenger hunt. I will admit, I did take the original, yes. But I did so to keep it away from those who shouldn't have it. It's safer in my hands. If you're here to get it, I might suggest you give up. I'm known to be quite a stubborn git. I didn't want it for anything. I needed to keep it safe. Rizzo's almost never makes mistakes, but offering a classified original product to the public for free? Any upstart might grab it and use it to make Rizzo's look bad, or, or steal it to make a new product offshoot, or launch it in, start a lawsuit of some kind. The what now? I didn't order any mines or machines. I just paid Slug to encourage people not to enter the puzzle hedges. Figured they just dress somebody up like a primal and chase maze goers. Like we did after the Spectrum Black unveiling a decade back. Or maybe that was a real primal. I forget. Hmm. I don't see what. Mam 150. Potrzebuję tylko 60 punktów w takim razie. To nie rodzi zamków, a koło nie wiem, 350. Mam karę na otwieranie zamków. Dobra, czyli przy następnym levelu mogę tutaj podskoczyć, kolega. Mogę się teleportować. Again. Might I recommend a Rizzo's Dark Matter bar? Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RRD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive Spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own Spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. Nut Hut. Chociaż mleko chorą z czymś. Żółta perkówka. Kurczę, nie wiem, której mi jeszcze brakuje. Dziennik. A, w 
കാറിന് Chyba, że paszczur to wpierdolił. Ja ten gość, tak? Do nich potrzebuje 60 kłamstwa. Hello, bleeding. It's safer in my hands. Yep. Tak to muszę ten kredyt sprzedać, że ukrył perków kredyt na żadnym stawie. To jest już mało. Okay, okay, okay. To wika, ksiądz ciepła, poczekaj na zyskanie wstępu. Ty też nie mam zasobu. <śmiech> to się mogę tepnąć tutaj do Ludowika przecież... Apartament potwierdzi. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The waspkitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The so you have my attention. Dr. Blossom nie żyje, jak ktoś ją zamordował. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. I wish you'd give me a little more information, Inspector. Leora was a friend. But I promised to leave this investigation in your hands, and so I shall. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Okay. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. What the fuck? Just a nieba, nie odej. Nie odej ten nioki za sobą. Dobra, to może 55 przynajmniej będę miał tego. Okej. Okay. Like My hands, I swear. <laughs> okay. You know, I never imagined Spencer Woolridge would outlive <laughs> his life. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. 
Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Almost certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no. I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. Oh, how curious. I do believe you're right. I wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process. She was halcy on Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as halcy on Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. I had a feeling you'd understand. I do keep logs of every patient I treat. Despite appearances, I'm not merely a coroner. I'm also the Grand Colonial's only, and therefore greatest, doctor. <laughs> I'm very pleased with my work. Cedric Kincannon is an outstanding employer. What I'm about to tell you... Do me a favor and keep this between us? That's what I like to hear. I'd much rather work for Slug than Rizzo's. Rizzo's makes a great show about the happiness of its workers, but I think it's all rather artificial. I'm paid well. I work hard. I'm given respect and a reasonable degree of freedom. Cedric and Cannon runs a tight ship. Most of us enjoy working for Slug. Will there be anything else? Okej, okay, to teraz już jestem z King Cannonem, musimy porozmawiać. Jed. Gdzie on jest? Do VIP-ów Brytyjego w porcie kosmicznym. Czekaj tam Brytyjego. Tak? Okay, czekaj, jeszcze sprzęt tutaj śmieci. Sprzedaj broń, broń. To jest co? 3-0, 2-0, sprzedaj broń. Czekaj, przydałoby mi się coś z kłamstwem. 42. Znaczy, że brakuje mi tylko tej jednej. Potrzebuję, pewnie nie wiem. Czyli potrzebuję to 60 kłamstwa. Hmm. 7 tysięcy za naprawę? Ja pierdolę. Sam mogę naprawić za części. Hmm. 
Please don't kill me. So she did. To chyba nie on do samplu jeszcze, nie? I'm pretty happy working for Slug. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Świetnie. Dobra, że teraz potrzebuję lawa do tego... Ali. Ali, Ali. Kosmiczny Pieros. Eyes up. I think we're about to be mysteriously assailed. Hey, you! We've been looking for you! And by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. If you had anything to do with Sublight, you'd have started shooting about 12 words ago. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! You want to say that again, pal? Mając na sto rozszerzone zjednoczenie, nie przyspieszono, tak jesteś na haju. Bez dopalczyny dałbyś rady, co? What? No, my head feels great. And once I don't have six tongues, I'll tell you what I think of your slander. Now stop moving around so much. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I am high on adrenaline time. Maybe this was all a bad idea. Hey. Any chance we could reschedule? Yeah, maybe do this whole showdown business. Uh, never. Nie, nie, nie. Potrzebuję doświadczenia trochę. Sorry. To jest niezabójstwo. Mam, ro mam robot dla kogoś, kto nie stroni od przemocy i ma puste kieszenie. Pewnie spektry zajmuje się sprawą morderstwa. Adrian Narkadi, mój klient, chce jego śmierci. Co do dyskrecji, jest wręcz niepożądana. Pamiętaj tylko, aby po przyjęciu zlecenia znaleźć najdalej położone kupce wyro. Pod materacem znajdziesz mundur, który musisz założyć. Po tym możesz pójść do rozroby. Dokładnie 40 tysięcy bitów. To nie jest Kurde, to cały ten, cała taka stracha duża. 
office. You. You got an appointment? Appointment? Yeah. That's why you're here. Appointment? No appointment? No talking to Mr. Kincannon. Hmm. Not entirely out of the question. If Mr. Kincannon doesn't want to see you, I'm not telling the guards to pull any punches. Kurde. To potrzebuję, żeby udawać nie tak naprawdę. Ja mam tutaj postać. Ności. No, czy na sekundę potrzebuję. Chcę tu na razie robić rozróby przed, przed tym, jak wszystko zwiedzę. Why, it's the inspector. Good on you, making a proper entrance. <laughs> you would not believe how many times that ladders come in handy. Why ladders do not come standard in all offices is completely nonsensical. Now then. Here for my alibi, I assume. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. <coughs> Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Right again, Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Oh, that's good. That's very good, <laughs> Inspector. I like this. Dominant. Aggressive. Hmm? The man in charge. I don't want to accuse anyone without hard evidence. Though it may be worth noting, Ludovico has motivation in spades. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. When that's settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie. And I am. Incriminatingly. People. And I appreciate that, Inspector. The fact of the matter is, I know I didn't kill Helen. And I trust you fully and completely to find whoever did. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. I think I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. 
You may very well want to. This particular trouble strikes me as not unrelated to your investigation. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. Mm -hmm. This is the latter. I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. <clears throat> and do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. Oh, yeah. oh, no, not like that. Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Może być taki prosta, prawda? Czyli go szukałeś? Jak bardzo drony druk ja. Still technically visible to the human eye, <laughs> but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred, and Lou, obsessed with what should have been has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Such as? Very well. A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with magpics, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Because she paid me to, Inspector. Besides, Helen was enjoyable company. She was confident, resourceful, determined, not unlike you, now that I consider it. That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? That is a question. Me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? A smart approach, Inspector. And yet... This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. Indeed. I suspect Helen arrived on Eridanos with grander plans than promoting Spectrum Brown. I knew I was right about you being clever, Inspector. I'm glad. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? Nie wygląda najlepiej, gdy jest się podejrzana morderstwo. Am I an official suspect then? <laughs> Intriguing. I look forward to how it all plays out. Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes, whatever shape it takes. <laughs> One moment, 
If you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. Okay. What or who made you decide to investigate me? Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? Yeah, let's just go. Thank you. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Ominous threat transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. 98.3% of the dust particles are less than 500 micrometers in diameter. This unit is glad to have been of service, Inspector. There's no way you could know that. Additional analysis concludes. Your hypothesis is correct, Inspector. I'd say I'm impressed, but I really don't want to encourage you. Okay. What's that you found? No, wait. Don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Sorry. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Next is Vidic. No, dobra. Dobra. Królowa dysydentów rozdział trzeci. Dobra, nie będę go czytał. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Mm -hmm. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. <laughs> oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Nie ma Ma parę oczu. No, czekaj. Podjęłaś wszystko. Biurka. Dzięki. Okej, okay, King Gunn, okej. Okay. Sublight. Czyli ten popś. Got my sights on you. I've got my eye on you. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundry, the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. Oh, I see you've read some of my poems. Very clever, Inspector. Yes, my pen name is The Marketeer, though I also use it in certain business dealings. Wait a moment. Why do you ask? Hey now, hey, uh, let's all be reasonable here. I'm just a middleman. None of this was my idea. Occasionally, jobs requiring discretion arrive here from the hotel. Always anonymous and always lucrative. For a sizable cut, I set these jobs up and ask no questions. Somebody sent me a note telling me they wanted you dead. I don't know who, and I don't know why. I swear. Yeah, of course. It's called a paper trail. Give me a little credit. I'm a professional. I've got to have some standards. Of course. Here. Terribly sorry for all this, Inspector. I'll certainly owe you in the future. Welcome back. The Eridano's Dry Goods and Sundry is just as standard and unremarkable as when you left. Hey, if 
folks take a lot of comfort in knowing their neighborhood general store is unchanging, eternal, like the land beneath their feet or the air in their lungs. Whoops, forgot I ain't supposed to poeticize on work time. The drab nature of our store profits is what I meant. Now, can I sell you anything? Tysiące amunicji. A nie, to ją te. Skup. No właśnie, kurwa, <grywa> sprzedać o swoją amunicję. Świetnie. Co 